Welcome to Crypto Zeta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at Hex. Let's get into the price action and see what's going on. Okay, so from the previous video, what we were talking about was the potential that we could look at this as an A wave, this is a B, and then potentially looking for a C wave to the upside. Now, we don't have a lot of price history here, so we need to be aware there is always the potential that this could be a completed move here, and we could actually see price look to come down and break this low of this 00120 region now for as long as we remain above that and we maintain this 0 0.786 of this 00448 what we could potentially look for is this potential reversal to the upside in the c wave we need to just be aware though however there is a discrepancy in the time relationship between this a wave and the c wave so far so what we could actually see is sometimes within the c wave if it meets the price requirement what we could see is either the move then starts to um, extend out and move sideways before looking to break back down or alternatively it can just be a c wave that just moves down and uh, hits that price target without the time relationship being as important so we're gonna have to keep an eye on this okay so let's get into the minor counts now so the way we we're talking about this was actually a a b and c i just want to talk about the potential that we could also actually see something like this so this was talking about that time relationship if i throw this time based fib on here we can see that the length of this is a w or an a wave this is a x wave here or b and this as a move to the downside we haven't even reached the 0 0.382 of the time duration of this wave a or w so because of this fact what i'm looking out for is there's a potential that either this is still extending out and it's going to take a bit more time to play out or alternatively we could get this as an a we see a move to the upside for a b and then we see a c now this a potentially could be completed here but the internal count that i'm currently looking at is looking at that possibility that we could actually have a five wave move so if we have the five wave move this could take a bit longer alternatively we could also argue that um, within this we could just have this as an A wave, this is a B and this is a C into this one to one which it's already met that criteria of that 00698 so if we see a three wave move back to the upside then we need to be cautious about a rejection of the 06842 to this 02963 as a possible area where we could see this become an a a b and a c looking for this y wave if we had to move up towards the 0.618 which would bring us back into the swing high here of the 04429 what we would be then looking for is a one to one which would look to potentially take us down to this 1382 now if we did move down to that 1382 that would actually take us beyond this point of this um, support zone that we're looking for here as a wave two. So we need to be careful that this doesn't actually start to extend out and break down much deeper if that is the case. Okay, so now within the five wave count, what we were talking about was the potential that we were looking to extend out. Now, what we were talking about within this count was actually looking for this move being a one two as a diagonal and then looking for this potentially as a bigger one two three four and five now we have we've come down past the 1.618 of this as a wave one but now what i'm looking for is the potential that we could actually still have some structure to come down here so if we look at this as a one two this is one two here and another one two what we'd be arguing is that the white count is actually completed now with this count actually completing here what we're looking for now is the potential to actually see this fourth wave in the yellow count here play out to the upside so i would be keeping an eye on two areas so i'd be keeping an eye on this white previous fourth wave which is sitting here towards this 1365 if we do see a move to the upside in three waves which actually looks to move up here what we could then see is continuation to the downside alternatively if it does look to push higher up what we could actually see is price move up towards this 01688 region which would bring us back into this previous fourth wave here as a 50 percent retracement now if we just see three waves move to the upside what i'd then be looking for is that potential of actually a breakdown towards the zone of the 0659 to this 495 region now if we start to break above this 50 percent level then we could actually be looking to form a bigger structure here to the upside looking to make that b wave so we need to keep an eye on that if we remain below this 01688 i would be aiming for lower though first potentially looking to actually target out this wave three towards this 2.618 of the wave one which is at the 00635 so if we do see price continue to break down yeah we'd be keeping an eye on these levels there's always a potential that 
these waves can continue to extend out now the way i'm counting it like this there's always a potential that you know within this structure somewhere else there could be another one two that i haven't counted in where like for instance this becomes one two three four five and then that would mean that this was all an extension within a fifth wave which would mean that this yellow count still needs to actually play out to the upside so need to be careful with this one um it is fast moving so we need to just uh just bear that in mind that if we do see price move down here one more time i would be on the lookout for this additional fourth and a fifth until we actually break above this zero two three two five now this could actually look to bring us down into this zero zero four five seven to this zero zero three oh five if we do follow the count exactly as i have it here so if we do look to reverse to the upside here i mean we don't have a lot of structure to go off what we'd be looking for is effectively arguing this is a five wave move which i mean we could potentially do it but then what we would need to see is we'd need to see price action actually hold the support zone here of this 00746 i wouldn't want to see price come back down below this if we're looking for that bigger b wave and what we'd want to see is something along the lines of this become one two three four five get a three wave move down maintain this low and then look for that 1.618 now what i'd be looking for just given the current structure that we have here would be potentially looking for a move above this zone here of this 01530 for confirmation that we actually have a five wave structure here then what we'd want to see is an additional fourth wave down here holding this support zone and then looking for a fifth wave to the upside now what we'd then be looking for after that point is potential to actually push up towards this level here of the 01796 to this 016 Two, nine. After that, we'd be then be looking to actually hold this low and then get a retracement to the downside, looking for a B wave, which is probably going to actually look to come back down and potentially retest these levels again between this 0107 to this 0187. Though technically speaking, it can move all the way down to the 008. Or three now the key thing is here if we're looking for this possibility of continuation to the upside we need to see these seven eight sixes hold and we need to start setting higher lows higher highs and start breaking above some of these key structures so having a look at the weekly cpr here what we can see is that we've actually come down past this r2 line already and we've managed to move back above it if we fail to continue to hold this what we could actually see is price be gravitated towards this r3 line here towards this 00619 now price can always move through these levels these are just potential zones we could see a pivot with the price and if we do actually see price move back to the upside for that fourth wave i would be keeping an eye on these central pivot lines here between the 01418 to this 01365 a three wave move back up into this would make me believe that we're actually going to see continuation to the downside if however we do break back above these what we could actually see is price interact with this s1 line yet the 1622 this s2 at this 1809 and this uh, s3 at this 2115 alternatively if we now throw this over onto the monthly pivots what we'd be looking for is the potential that price is actually lost these central cpr lines here so if we're looking for that bullish count what we'd then be looking for is the potential for price to actually move back up here and start to regain these central cpr lines which are sitting at this 02528 and this area here of this 05078 we'd want to see price get back above these and then we could potentially look to actually retest some of these higher CPR lines at this S1 at the 065442 and this S2 at this 01181 and this S3 at this 01465 region so if we do see price manage to push back to the upside here potentially we could see a retest of some of these levels but we need to just be cautious that like I said you know even in this even in the um the bearish count here you know what we could still see is this b wave come into play and that would actually tie in with actually coming back into some of these uh central cpr lines here so if we saw this 0.618 for instance it would be a retest of the central line so i would be keeping an eye on that as time progresses okay so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't really turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below also in the description you'll find a link to the discord come check it out it's free to join everyone have a great day see you in the next one take care